when things are at their worst, we need to be at our best. And we can be if we work together. Only if we work together, however, can we stop the spread of this virus. We know what we need to do to get this pandemic under control in Carmel. We need to stay home and avoid non-essential trips. And if you must go out, wear your mask, sanitize or wash your hands and physically distance. The choices we have to make are not easy, but they are necessary. We are not the first generation to endure hardships this vast. In 1933, at the height of the Great Depression, during his first inaugural address, FDR said, all we have to fear is fear itself. He understood that we should not let fear overwhelm us. We can recognize the dangers of this virus, but not fear it. We need to recognize the damage it can do to those we love and the people we may never meet. Non-symptomatic carriers account for a large percentage of those with COVID-19. So without knowing it, you could be spreading this deadly virus to people who then pass it on to others. Please show you care by helping stop the spread. Another way to show others you care is to keep an eye on your neighbors, especially those who are older or who live alone. Help one another through this difficult time. To make certain our city workers can continue to help the community through this crisis, early on we began testing city staff for COVID-19 particularly the EMTs and paramedics working on ambulances, tending to the sick and transporting them to the hospitals. This allowed us to identify employees carrying the COVID-19 virus, whether or not they ever showed symptoms. In turn, this allowed us to keep our other staff members and our community safer. We did our own contact tracing to speed up the time required to find out who needed to quarantine themselves. To engage our partners in the community, we set up a program called Carmel Cares. It's one of the first initiatives of Carmel Cares was a program called Feed the Front Lines. In addition to funds from the city and Clay Township, we received almost $50,000 in donations from the public for this effort. We use this money and continue to use it to buy takeout meals from local restaurants to deliver to our heroes, those working under stressful conditions in our hospitals caring for those with COVID-19. This not only helps our local restaurants, but helps the spirits of our healthcare workers. Our Carmel Cares program includes donations to local food pantries, promotes blood donations, and has helped raise enough money to provide more than 54,000 meals for the Summer Meals program. Each week, our fire department has had at least one COVID public information booth set up in the parking lots of businesses around the city to distribute face masks, hand sanitizer, and answer questions about COVID. When stores ran out of hand sanitizer, our street department learned how to make it and distribute it free to local businesses. When we discovered there were new ways to detect the virus in wastewater, we started testing our sewage for traces of the virus. This can give us about a 10 day advance notice of what's going to happen at our hospitals because those virus levels spike up before people start going to the hospital. This helps us and our hospitals make better informed decisions based on data. We've been close to capacity in our hospitals and their intensive care units for the last several weeks. We need to stay diligent so we don't overwhelm our local health care system. And that gets harder as COVID-19 fatigue sets in. Winter is here and many of our activities have moved inside where it is much more difficult to remain physically distanced and masked up. On top of that, the holiday season brings more pressure to gather with loved ones for celebrations. But I know this community and I'm convinced we can stay committed to fighting the spread of this deadly disease together and come out of this pandemic stronger than ever. This virus is the enemy of everyone. It does not discriminate, but we can do very well if we look out for each other. Another one of my favorite quotations is from Winston Churchill when he said, never was so much owed by so many to so few. 
And in this context, I'm talking about our healthcare workers, our orderlies, our nurses, our doctors, the people working in our hospitals at all levels, taking care of very sick people while putting their own health and the health of their families at risk. So when we think about going out unnecessarily, not wearing a mask, or engaging in behaviors that endanger others, think first about these healthcare workers that are overwhelmed and help keep them and our community safe. We're very close to having vaccines uh, preliminarily approved by the Food and Drug Administration. And when that happens, inoculations of healthcare workers will start in Carmel at our hospitals. Then we will still have several months to go before enough people can be vaccinated to end this pandemic. In the meantime, we must take care of one another. Help support local businesses as you shop for gifts this holiday season, but do it safely through online shopping with delivery or curbside pickup. And by coming together as a community, we can make certain our favorite restaurants and small retailers will still be here when this pandemic is over. This is going to be a holiday season like none other in living memory. But the best gift we can give to our families and our community is to keep everyone safe. And that's how you can show the true spirit of this holiday season.